Right now, Mexican drug lord Joaquin Gomez, also known as El Chapo, is sitting in a Mexican cell fighting extradition to the U.S. You'll recall he was on the run for months before authorities captured him during a violent raid. Remember how he escaped through that massive tunnel that he built? Well, a new special airing on Fox News this weekend dives into how El Chapo's obsession with Mexican soap actress Kate Del Castillo led to his capture. Geraldo Rivera interviews the actress about her secret visit with actor Sean Penn to meet the drug lord. And things, I'll tell you, they may not have been exactly how Penn depicted them to be. Watch this. In Sean Penn's account in Rolling Stone magazine, during that ride from the airfield to the hiding spot, of El Chapo, you pass the Mexican Army checkpoint where two soldiers in uniform looked at you and almost with a feeling of nervousness that was palpable or embarrassment kind of waved you through. Is that true? Did that ever happen? Not at all. That is not true. Why would he say that? I have no idea. You would have to ask him. But that is not true. Geraldo Rivera, the host of the special, joins me now with more. Geraldo, she says his account, Sean Penn's account in Rolling Stone, not true. Oh, she says that Sean Penn is a liar. So does the DEA. I mean, Sean Penn kind of created out of whole cloth, according to these people, the DEA and the Mexican authorities and Kate Del Castillo created this Mexican army roadblock to make it look as if the government of Mexico was in on El Chapo's escape. It mm -hmm. really... It is an amazing story, though, Trish. Here is this beauty. El Chapo is a beast, the most wanted fugitive on earth at the time, and he couldn't stop being a pen pal to this crush. The I mean, they were texting. I mean, she, she, how did this Steamy all come text. about? I mean, she was going to make a movie, right, on El Chapo. She was somehow connected to Sean Penn. Right. El Chapo and Kate Del Castillo had a kind of a pen pal relationship. He adored her. He was obsessed with the character that she played, a, a drug queen pin, uh, much like him, so like a, a telenovela. Uh, he identified with her character, Teresa Mendoza, profoundly. He wrote her these schoolboy letters, I can't wait to see you, I'll protect you more than I protect my own eyes. Uh, and then after they left, this was the best day of my life. I mean, it really is, if, if you remember King Kong, when King Kong is killed, someone says, oh, the pilots killed King Kong. And then the promoter called Denim says, no, it was Beauty Killed the Beast. Mm. That's what happened here. El Chapo was captured, I allege, because of his obsession with this actress and the fact that the Attorney General of Mexico and U.S. authorities could track their movements. Sean Penn and Kate Del Castillo led the authorities to El Chapo. Uh, was she, was she somewhat obsessed with him? I mean, she played a she character was. that was much like him, sort of the female version of him. In it all show. started, it's an excellent question, Trish. It all started when Kate Del Castillo wrote a tweet, an extended tweet, that basically said, El Chapo, you're being blamed for everything. I know you're not that bad. Uh, show us some of your good. It was like a love letter to El mm. Chapo when he was, you know, on the lam the first time. Wow. So, then he's recaptured, and in prison, he starts writing her back. Oh, I love your character. You're a great actress. My goodness, uh, you know, you're strong, and this and that and the other thing. So he had a schoolboy crush, the, the savage murderer who's responsible for the overdose deaths of thousands of Americans, who is indicted in eight different, I may be wrong, maybe seven different uh, districts, federal districts, the Southern District of New York, the Eastern District of New York, Chicago, California. He is indicted all across the United States mm -hmm. for various crimes, mass murder and all the rest of it. And here he, he is caught because of his affection for this soap star. Wow. Is she still going to make the movie? He wrote her after he was re recaptured mm -hmm. and said, you still have all the rights to my story. Maybe not Sean Penn, though. <laughs> uh, maybe not Sean Penn. Geraldo, we can't wait to see oh, it. Oh, so Thank Saturday you. and Sunday. Make sure you catch a special, Beauty and the Beast, when Kate Met Chapel, airing this Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern and on Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern. You don't want to miss it. I'm going to be right back. See you here.